Number 1. On the initiative of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, Germany, France, Spain, Great Britain, and numerous other European nations try to develop potent military suits. But naturally, the US is most effective in this industry. They have a genuine Iron Man suit called the Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, or Talos. It consists of around 800 elements, 26 of which are solid armored plates. The suit is an exoskeleton, therefore it doesn't make the soldier heavier. On the contrary, it makes him more robust and flexible. The suit also has a thermoregulation system. The helmet's many optics allow for augmented reality and extended spectrum examination of the environment. To put it another way, Talos is an armored suit that transforms a person into a tank. Number 2. The Russian counterparts of the American designers of the formidable military armor are their main competitors. They developed an army outfit known as Ratnik 3. This functional exoskeleton prototype resembles its American counterpart but focuses on something different rather than using the most recent materials. The emphasis is on power rather than lightness and maneuverability. This titanium exoskeleton includes an electric engine that can run continuously for a day. Additionally, the suit is intended to have a set of vital sign sensors and is designed to include unique mine detectors in the foot gear. The suit is anticipated to function in temperatures as low as negative 122 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 50 degrees Celsius. Have you ever heard of the harsh winters in Russia? They won't bother with this suit, nor will a blazing summer in the desert. Number 3. British military armor is the next. Instead of power, its creators place more emphasis on mobility. Just that while in conflict, the batteries and remote controllers may weigh quite a bit, and the sensors and computers need to be coordinated and recharged. Delays of even a second could result in fatalities. A British business called Intelligent Textiles has the solution. Its researchers have created a fabric that functions similarly to a flexible computer. But there's still something more significant. The spread signal system is part of the computer suit. This implies that even if the fabric is torn, the fibers still try to transmit the signal via the costume's intact portions. Britain does, however, have a uniform concept that, in terms of protection, is on par with American or Russian uniforms. The project, known as FISTS, or Future Integrated Soldier Technology, has largely been incorporated into the life of a contemporary British soldier since its development began in the distant year of 1994. Instead of the exoskeleton, the focus is on the electronics. These tools, the map system, Target locators, efficient rangefinders, and electronic optical converters enable the soldier to obtain the most details possible about his surroundings. Additionally, the many electric modules in this suit mean that the new generation batteries will play a significant role in this outfit. Number 4. Now, this Future Force Warrior is also one of today's most incredible military gear. Its stunning design transforms movie imagination into reality. The unique dynamic armor is the most crucial component of the Future Force Warrior suit. This project uses magnetic rheological fluids, which have a density akin to oil. A suit constructed of this substance adheres to the body tightly in its normal state like a Hydra suit. But the instant a soldier issues a command, while in the presence of a magnetic field, the liquid solidifies in 0.001 seconds. The exterior layer of the armor will also resemble a fighter from the Middle Ages, complete with a big shell helmet and limb protection. Not only that though, because the real-time health monitor system is one of this rigid uniform's most crucial components for a future American soldier. Warfighter Physiological Status Monitor, or WPSM, is the name of this system. The portion of the suit closest to the body will be covered in numerous sensors. It collects information on the soldier's body temperature, blood pressure, and other vital signs. It displays diagrams and figures on the monitor on his helmet. The system computer will receive the same data. Number 5. 
Next on the list is the Spanish Comfort Armor, which has a slightly more exotic appearance. A soldier's appearance resembles a character from an action movie about distant wars. The extraordinary sight is a peculiar aspect of the soldier's look and the focal point of this particular project. No longer is the weapon required to be held close to the soldier's face. The rifle has a remote monocle sight attached, which improves agility and enables quicker action in unanticipated circumstances. For instance, it is feasible to fire from a corner while merely putting out your weapon. And, of course, your armor with a flexible bulletproof vest focus on elbow and knee protection. Number 6. Protection and automatic information collecting by inbuilt electronics are cool, but mobility is crucial. Chinese military developers believe so, and their technology is based on a contour exoskeleton. It is neither a suit nor armor. It is precisely the soldier's second outer skeleton. The gadget is affixed to the knees, back, and arms, and is worn over the regular uniform. This exoskeleton serves a single but fundamental purpose. It grants the soldier superpowers. The technology detects the warrior's actions and assists them with a 5 to 1 effectiveness ratio. This increases the person's strength by 5 times. In one of the tests, a soldier lifted a 45 kilogram weight that weighed 100 pounds and carried it for a considerable distance without making any apparent effort. This indicates that a crate of rockets won't weigh any more than a typical backpack. Other businesses are proactive in the value of improving a soldier's physical prowess. Number 7. However, the soldier's comfort does not appear to be a top priority for German military technology developers. But they offer the highest level of profile protection with a scrupulosity inherent in their nations. Their project is a term for a multifunctional war outfit, IDZ-ES, and it is comparable to suits from other nations. The hybridization of the warrior and his armor is still emphasized, and the high-tech navigational gadgets are also present, but it also has a distinctive feature. The handheld mini-computer in question combines navigation and control. The whereabouts of friendly forces, the displacement of his partners, and his chief's orders are all concurrently visible to soldiers on the battlefield as they survey their surroundings. He can even view himself on a dynamic map. It makes it possible to coordinate the actions correctly. The actual armor contains several profile subsystems. One defends against weapons, while the other protects against impacts. Number 8. Last on our list is the French military uniform. The French initiative for creating future battle suits has its strengths. The acronym for this is FELIN, or Fantasin Equipment Liaison Integre. Got it, right? Additionally, textile is used in place of ultra-modern nanotechnologies. This cloth is unique. It is breathable, water-resistant, resistant to blood-sucking insects, and refractory. It removes water and even makes the soldier invisible to infrared light. Do the French appear to be prepared for anything? Most likely, yes. Because this suit also has a unique helmet, it is difficult to impress them with some intense combat situations. It also has a unique mask in addition to communication tools and an electronic information display system. The soldier can eat and drink while wearing it, protecting them against gas attacks, poison spraying, and chemical attacks. So, which tactic do you believe to be the most successful protection through the use of novel yet conventional materials or the application of nanotechnologies and other novel substances? Can liquid armor offer the same level of protection as a highly potent alloy? Please share your thoughts in the comments box below. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!